Hello y'all. Welcome back to Amber's Journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, thank you again for coming back. I appreciate that. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, sorry, I'm adjusting things here. I have been gifted some stuff and I have purchased some stuff to do a full bullet journal. Um, so you guys, if you've watched, you know I have my B6, which is kind of a mix between planning and bujo and all of that. Well, this one, I'm gonna try to do a flat out bullet journal for you with the supplies I have here. Excuse me, taking a drink. <clears throat> now with this one, um, I'm not gonna do like a full bullet journal beginning since this is August and we're already past the first week. So I'm a little late getting to this. I was sick with COVID, so. Yeah, so I'm a little late getting to this, but I'm going to get it started, and what I'm going to do is make a cover page, do my August monthly, and then do my first weekly in it as well. So the supplies that I'm using today, I have the scrapbooking monthly kit from Planning with Kay, and I'm going to use this one because it's kind of going to be a junk journal kind of bullet journal theme, and I thought this matched really great, and it's really cute. And then for my weekly, I'm going to go ahead and use these. And then I have this as my monthly layout, like the actual month on it. And then I have my appointment stickers from Stuck on Creation. I might use these. I may not. I'm not sure yet. And then I have my Nash's print works. These are all in neutrals, the banners and the little headers. I'm probably going to use some of these along the way as well. And then I have my junk journal box and some other things from Steph's Design Space. These are little bubbles I like to use and everything. It's probably not going to match much, but you know what? It's mine and I'm probably going to use it. I have my washi tape card here that I got in the box. I'll probably use some of this. And then I have my die cuts here of gears and some of the little flowers things like that. I might use those. And then we have the matching sticker set that came in it as well. Um, so I'm going to probably use that. And then I have these little um, paper cards that came in it as well, along with this cute vintage paper. And then I have this paper as well that is in it's like a dictionary page. I'm probably going to use that as well, depending We'll see, because I, I kind of have an idea, but I'm kind of winging it too. And then I have my antique stickers that I had purchased separately. Some of them are white, some of them are on clear. So we'll see what we do along the way. And then I have these alcohol ink boxes. I think the black ones and maybe like these ones might match, depending on what I do. And then I had some happy mail from my friend Lisa Marie, and I'm going to use this. Um, this was just something that came in a box. I might use that as well. And then I have these splotches. Spilled a drink and it got some of them messed up, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it's going to be like a brown and black and white. And then I have these little quotes here. I might use these as well that came from Miss Lisa Marie. And then the main thing is the bullet journal itself. Well, this is an Archer and Olive that she had also gifted to me um, to get everything started. Um, it was used previously, but I'm not worried about that. This is going to be fun for me. So I have everything kind of sketched out. I don't know if it's picking up on camera or not, but I have a lot of it sketched out already. Um, and then I also have some papers here that I may use as well. I have this one that's kind of wood grain. I have this one that has keys all over it. And then I have this one that's just kind of cursive writing. Um... Just says thankful, grace, hello, family, a bunch of random words. So we'll probably use some of that as well. So let's get into it. Um, I'm going to probably do a voiceover for the rest of this video. Um, this is going to take me a while, so I'm going to have to speed through this to make it fit in one video. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be back in a, at the end of the video to speak. All right, y'all. So here I am just getting everything started on the first page. I'm laying down some scrap paper at the beginning that has these keys on it. I really like this paper. I think it goes really well with the bullet journal and the junk journal theme. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the 2022 on here. Um, I do make some mistakes along the way, but you'll see how I fix them as I go. 
I do end up um, pulling out my Crayola color tips as well to do some coloring in here. I felt like the pen was just too bold, too dark, so I went ahead and used the markers as well. And then um, we go in and color everything through. Um, the black wasn't as dark as what I thought with the black marker, but it still worked out. Um, I actually liked it better that way in the end because it wasn't as bold as the pen. Um, <clears throat> sorry about my voice, y'all. I'm still getting it back here. So I decided to go with browns and blacks and grays, um, kind of a neutral theme. I have a couple pops of color in here with the stickers that I use for the monthly, but um, other than that, I really like this. And then I went ahead and used some of my um, stickers from Steph's Design Space here. Um, I felt like it was too plain, so I went ahead and grabbed some of that um, paper here that is kind of like a dictionary kind of paper and added that in and then I'm just doing that. Now I'm working on to the monthly here, which I do make some mistakes here too, but as you can see, it's very easy to cover certain things up and get things in place. Uh, right here, I'm checking to make sure that I made my lines correctly, make sure I have the, my days on the right sides. Um, so I'm just finishing out that. I made some of my lines a little too long, and then I also realized that some of my markings were wrong on my calendar, but I fixed it, and I ended up with just enough. Kind of see my face in there as I'm trying to figure everything out. Counting out here. I need to make a space guide. I've never had a journal this big. Um, this is an A5 size, so it's a lot bigger than what I'm used to. If you guys watch, I have a B6 Stology. Um, and then I have like a classic happy planner and this is a little bit bigger than that. So I'm trying to put the tape down and then I ripped the page. The, this paper was really delicate. So I went in and just left it that way though, cause I kind of like the ripped look. I was already ripping the paper as it was. So now I'm just going through and seeing what I want to do. I figure I'll lay down the days of the week first on the monthly, um, and then figure it out from there. Now I'm putting down the numbers. So as I'm filming this, I am already on Saturday the 6th, so I am a little bit behind on this, but I still have the rest of the month here. I know with most bullet journals, when people start a new one, they have a lot of beginning pages like forward planning and um, future logs and different trackers for the, for the time of the book and things like that. I didn't add that in here because I do still use my B6stology, which um, you guys will see videos coming up on that as well. I have all of that in there, so I, I don't think I need it in both places, so I didn't want to waste the pages for something I already have. Um, and then I'm just laying down some deco and the month, and then I have my monthly overview. I'm sticking down some stickers, my finance sticker, I'm going to put my goals down for the month there eventually. And then now I'm just putting some colors along it and some deco stickers. I really love these key stickers. I need to get some more sheets of this just for those keys. <laughs> um, and then I had an extra box up there that I didn't realize until I went to put the numbers down. So I went ahead and filled that in. Now we're moving on to my brain dump. I just put a line there to kind of give me a guide on where I wanted the bottom of everything to go. Um, as you can see here, I, uh, use the side of the marker on accident and it messed everything up. So I just went ahead and filled in the D. So it's not beautiful, but it's mine and I like it. And then the washi that I used on the side is from Simply Gilded that I got from Lisa Marie and Happy Mail. And now I'm just putting in these little flags for my brain dump to give me some, some kind of space so I can have different sections. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and get my trackers in for the month. I am not putting numbers in or anything. What I'm doing is just leaving boxes for each day. So it's one box per day. Um, and then I'm just going to mark off as I do these. I have six trackers here that I'm going to be using. And then at the bottom I have kind of a task list that I'm going to add in and a gratitude list. I don't typically do gratitudes, but I really want to start. Um, I'm not going to have, you know, a daily gratitude here, obviously, um, but I am going to go ahead and put my gratitudes in there on the days that I feel like I need to boost myself and write down what I'm thankful for. And now I'm just 
using up some more of these stickers. I'm filling in my trackers here for what it is. I track water, vitamins, skin care. I take stairs at work, my cleaning, and my work. Um, so every day I hit my daily goals. I'll mark it off on here. And now I'm just adding some more stickers from Steph's Design Space. Now these stickers and the paper and everything is from a junk journal box I had ordered from her. She does have an advent calendar one that she's going to be doing as well. Um, so if you're into the junk journaling, definitely check her out. Check out, um, she does have her pre-orders up right now. I'll leave her um, link in the description as well for her shop. And then I'm just putting the month in here and writing in the week of the 7th through the 13th. So that way we have that. And now I'm just going to outline the days. Just kind of did kind of a weird boxy thing going on, just keeping it simple straightforward because during the week i don't really do a whole lot as it is and then i'm just putting that down i'm going to turn that into my weekend banner but i want to look through my stickers see if i have any if not then i'll write it in myself so here i am just finishing up everything final touches and then i'll be back on to talk to you and do the final flip through on everything at the end here i really like these kits um, this kit here is planning with k took me a while to get it because of shipping issues, but I really like this kit and I have a, a couple other ones that I'm going to be using. So I hope you guys enjoy, you know, watching this and I'll leave all the products I use down in the description below so you guys can check them out. So this is the beginning of my bullet journal. So this is the cover page, which I may add some more stuff to, but right now I like the way it looks. I'm going to leave it at that. I use my Crayola uh, color tips to do this and then some scrapbook paper from Michaels. These stickers in this is from the um, Steph's Design Space. And then this is my monthly. I haven't filled anything else in yet. I'm going to go back and erase some of these lines in a minute. Um, after the marker has dried. This kit that I used here is from Planning with Kay. These stickers in this is from the um, Steph's Design Space again. Now I am getting a little sticky right here. Do I want to put something down here? I really like these gears. I think I'm going to add that there. About to be out. Looks like I might need a refill on that, huh? Put that there, cover up that sticky. Anyways, this is my monthly for August. Um, today is the sixth, so we are already into this month, but that's okay. And then here's my brain dump. I put a couple flags here in case I want to section it out. And then here's my trackers. I track my water, my vitamins, my skincare, my stairs. I do take the stairs at work sometimes, my work if I hit my bonuses, and then cleaning the house, my gratitude list, um, if something pops up that I want to write down, I have it there, task list for the month, and then I have my first week in here, which is actually the second week of August, since first week's already over, um, and this is what I've done. So these stickers are from Planning with Kay. This is as well, this washi is, and this die cut is from the junk journal box I got from Steph's Design Space. And this um, washi right here is Simply Gilded that was gifted to me by Elisa Marie. Um, I really like the way that this turned out. I think I'm gonna really enjoy using this. If you guys bullet journal, if you guys have any ideas of different pages I can add in here, I know there's other like beginning journal pages for the whole book but I just wanted to try it out and start at the beginning of where I am now so this is what I have down if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know down in the comments below um, you can follow me on IG at Amber's Journey um, I'm going to link the shots down below that I used for my kits here and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day bye